On the morning of my 12th anniversary, I woke up feeling like I might be pregnant, which was so exciting because we'd wanted a child for so long. When my little girl was nine months old, I started getting high fever, diarrhea, you know, just really sick. I'm a photographer, portrait artist, and I work a little too much. It took me a little while to realize there was a pattern to my illness, that it would happen, and then my period would start. And having pap smear after pap smear, we finally came up with a diagnosis that I had cervical cancer when my little girl was only 14 months old. In the United States, about 11,000 women are diagnosed with cervical cancer each year, and about 3,600 die from cervical cancer each year. It's pretty daunting to spend the day before your 33rd birthday in the lawyer's office preparing your will and making sure your little girl will be taken care of. Human papillomavirus, or HPV, causes most cervical cancer, as well as other genital cancers. My first surgery was actually on my birthday, a relatively easy tumorectomy, and then about five weeks later, I had a radical hysterectomy with lymph nodectomy, and of course that left me unable to have any more children. HPV is the most common sexually transmitted disease in the United States. It affects about 20 million people at any one time. It's not until your little girl sits in your lap later and asks you, but mommy, why don't I have brothers or sisters? That's when it really kind of sinks into you. When she was really young, I just would tell her that mommy's tummy was broken and that I couldn't have any more children. I wouldn't know for weeks, even after the second surgery, what the ramifications were because you have to wait for all the tests to come back and because it ended up being caught early enough that it had not spread, I didn't have to have chemo or radiation. The most effective way to prevent HPV infection is through a complete series of the vaccine. I was really excited when a vaccine was created that would create for my daughter a life without cervical cancer. One of the reasons why this virus is so effective at being spread from person to person is that it doesn't cause symptoms. So you don't know you have it, so you don't change your sexual behavior in any way. Our plans are to get the vaccine for her as soon as she is old enough. The vaccine works against the HPV types that the person has never been exposed to. You can be exposed on your very first sexual contact. So we want to have the vaccine series complete before the person is ever exposed to any HPV type. Unfortunately, in this world, there's so many things we cannot protect our kids from. So to choose the things we can, to me as a mother, seems to be the best choice. Since the vaccine doesn't prevent all types of HPV, it's important for a woman to continue to have pap smears on a regular basis. When I was diagnosed in my area, there were seven women diagnosed about the same time. I'm the only one that survived. So for, for me, it's imperative to tell other women to make this choice. Check with your provider to see if immunization is right for your family.